today we are going to discuss the third chapter of economics money and credit money is an integral part of our lives we cannot imagine even a single day without money in one single day we make many transactions using money as medium of exchange for goods and services we need to buy but can you imagine the times when money was not used as medium of exchange things were directly exchanged this system was called barter system an essential feature of barter system is double coincidence of wants in this both the parties have to agree and sell to buy each other's commodities for example salim a shoe manufacturer wants wheat for exchange of his shoes he will have to look for a person who not only has wheat to sell but also wants to exchange wheat for shoes before the advent of money the things which were used for exchange were grain and cattle thereafter metallic coins of gold silver and copper came to be used as medium of exchange uses of money money makes it easy to buy and sell things it acts as medium of exchange and eliminates the condition of double coincidence of wants helps in long distance trade allows person to pay exact value for the goods he buys or sells modern forms of money currency which include paper notes coins bank deposits which include demand deposit and checks demand deposits share the feature of money they are widely accepted by the people in the transactions they are called demand deposits because people can withdraw the money whenever they require check is a paper instructing bank to pay a specific amount from a person's account to the person on whose name the check has been drawn banks play a very important role in modern economies let us now understand the working of banks banks accept deposits from depositors and pay them a certain amount of interest banks keep say about 15% of cash to pay the depositors who might come to withdraw their money on any given day banks use major portion of the deposits to extend loans to the borrowers who are in need of money after meeting the terms of credit banks charge higher interest from the borrowers than they give to the depositors high rate of interest charge from the borrowers minus the low rate of interest given to the depositors is equal to the profit of the bank credit is a very important economic activity credit refers to an agreement in which the lender supplies the borrower with money goods or services in return for the promise of future payment credit plays a very vital role in the economy it is able to create self employment and also to generate some employment for other people we will understand this by an example salim a shoe manufacturer has received an order of a big trader for 3000 pairs of shoes in the festival season to complete production salim requires credit 
for the raw material and to pay to the extra workers. He obtains credit from the leather supplier on the promise of future payment. Second, he borrows some from large trader as advance for the thousand shoes with the promise of delivery at the end of the month. With the credit facility, he is able to complete his order and he is able to supply the delivery to the large trader and earn profit. He has earned profit and also generated some employment. So in this case, we see that credit plays a very positive role in generating employment, self-employment and also employment for some people. But credit can also play a negative role. Negative role of credit is played when the terms of credit are not assured. When the delivery of the credit taken is not assured. We will take example of a small farmer, Sapna. She owns one hectare of land. She takes credit for the input in her land. But due to the failure of rain, her crop is not good. She is not able to sell in the market. Hence, she is not able to repay the money to the money lender. The money lender charges a very heavy rate of interest from her. Next season, again she is forced to take credit and even if the crop is sufficient, she is unable to pay the heavy rate of interest and she falls into debt. The situation of debt trap. The situation of debt trap is that she is not able to come out of the debt and the recovery from the debt is very painful. At times, she has to sell a part of her land for repayment of credit. We have gone through two cases of credit. One is positive case of credit. In case of Salim, there is no risk factor involved. The delivery is assured as he takes the credit and he is able to up supply with the delivery. So there is no risk factor involved. Whereas in case of Swapna, who is a small scale farmer, there is a lot of risk factor. She is dependent on rain for her production and she takes credit at a very high rate of interest. So in this case, she can fall into debt trap from which the recovery is very painful. Thank you for watching the video.